good morning friends. It is a beautiful summer day, hot already. So we're in a heat advisory for today. So we're outside, it's about 8.30 already. We're cleaning up a little bit on the sidewalk after we had some rain and hail last night. We got 50 hundreds, which was a blessing. This summer has been way different than the last two. We'll have minimal chances of rain and it will end up raining, which is such a blessing. So gardens didn't have to be watered last night or this morning. It has been so nice to have God water our land. And my husband's been busy mowing once or twice a week, but that's what it is. So we are gonna just bring you along today. We'll probably end up being inside quite a bit. I don't know if we'll be doing much baking either, just so we don't heat up the house. Littlest one is inside and we have the baby monitor. Girls are sweeping and playing right now. And I'm just gonna start doing a little cleanup from the rain and just enjoying the outside before it gets overly hot. It is so humid and hot already. I think it's like already 80 some degrees and it's about 1030. So then we just did some um, tracing inside and I nursed Elias. They are pulling the cushions off the couch right now. I'm playing there. But I wanted to actually try an instant pot zucchini bread. I have some grated zucchini here. Tis the season, right? And so I'm gonna see how that recipe works. There's one I saw and I'll tweak it to my liking because I don't cook with canola oil or bake with canola oil. Um, and I'll reduce the sugar and add some spices and stuff like that. But I'm gonna check it out and see how it works to make a zucchini bread in the Instant Pod. So we'll try it. organizing in my closet with my husband and my clothes and Elias's baby clothes in here. We just need to organize it a little bit more. There's things strewn about. It's not super well put together. So I'm gonna take a few things out, declutter. I didn't do that since I did my like summer thrifted clothing try on. So I'm gonna do that and hopefully just make it look a little bit neater. Nothing too extreme, but just make it a little bit nicer. Three items that Amoretu sent to me to try on and review while I'm cleaning out my closet here. I thought this would be a good time. They'd be great transition pieces for into fall season.
right, so I have all these pants here. <laughs> they were ones that I've had. I wear them for fall time, and so now would be a good time to get rid of what I don't fit into. So this postpartum, I haven't lost um, like the last three or four pounds like I did as quickly as the other two babies I had. So jeans fit a little snug around the belly part. So I'm going to try a couple of these on and see what fits well and what doesn't. Most of my pants I get are thrifted. There's a few from Amazon that I really like. So um, there's like a Levi mom jean pant I got. Some from our bin store that I had gotten that I really like too. So I'm gonna try a few of these on and then it'll be lunchtime. A little stretchy. It's stretchy but it's there, it's but tight as well. Yeah. We'll see. I know what black jean I'm getting, not these faded ones. I can barely button these right now. So definitely gonna be keeping the other pair. Nice to have. So I'm gonna keep these. They're like a cropped ankle. So these would be great transitioning into fall and they're green. So really like these ones still. All right, so I am keeping like this six different types cup on black when black didn't fit getting rid of another jean this is like a stretchy pant that you saw me try on in my summer thrifted clothing hot try on if you saw those so i'm gonna hang these back up and then we're gonna go get some lunch all right so i think my closet is done it's nothing spectacular like i said so the girls are headed down for a nap and they're just talking right now but lunch is all cleaned up, so I thought I'd just share what I am getting rid of actually, what I need to take care of, and just kind of how I have it organized right now. All right, so this is kind of an overview of the closet real quick. The curtains are kind of hiding some of it, but let's just start up over top. I have extra blankets over there, and then up here are my cardigans and um, like sweatpants, like I have two pair in there. And then way up top we have like, if you can see i have winter socks up there intimates up there um a travel case for a suits and then my husband's ties and extra belts which actually probably needs to be looked through because he doesn't wear ties anymore over here i have my big fuzzy robe i don't wear that very often but my husband gifted it to me so i'm on the fence about that um just a little belt hanger Right here are my husband's jeans, his nice jeans, like church and nice stretchy shorts. An open spot, which I love. And there we go. Okay, so then over here are my dresses. And some of them I'm on the fence about because they're not all nursing friendly, but I wear them like to church because I don't usually have to nurse at church. Um, couple skirts and then where I put my jeans in the back, so. That's about where that is. And then this is like my shorts and I have some pajamas in there too, which I love this set of leopard print pajamas. They're a lucky brand they ordered from Amazon. I will link that in the description box for you. My husband's athletic shorts, he runs quite a bit and athletic pants, so those are all there. And then here's just some like odds and ends. So my swimsuits are in here. This scarf needs to stay right there. Like one extra sweatshirt and a skirt I'm on the fence about as well. So it's like my maybe box. And then here is what our bottom half looks like. So my husband does have quite a few. He has three different colors of dress pants, which he probably doesn't need all those, but I'll let him look through those. Pair of khaki dress pants on like four long sleeve dress shirts, which is like one per each season. And then his dress shirts, he has like six dress shirts and one flannel and then my one long, I wear this one a lot with dresses, and then my tank top dressier shirts. And then just down here, I have um, Elias's some extra size up clothes and blankets and burp rags, our laundry basket. And then there's just like a box in the back for my pump stuff. So that's really about all. I guess, oh, right back here, there's an extra tote of things for some of my winter sweaters too. So that's just really all that's in there pretty pretty simple okay so then here's a few things i found i need to take care of and my girls as babies there these i need to put some pictures into um because i found them at a thrift store and i just think i want to add some pictures to them and put them either in the girls' room or our bedroom and this is all donation stuff so jeans i'm going to ask my sister if she wants um, a couple pair of shorts that i actually decluttered from my husband's bin 
this catches it's so linty it's just not great and then just some a few other scarves that i just don't wear anymore because the scarves kind of were a trend for a while and i am no longer wearing those so that was so nice to declutter some of that stuff all right so bread is done we're gonna see what it looks like okay looks done but a lot of moisture in there so i'll we'll have to take it out and test it later but I need to get a few things done first on my computer, so I'll check back in on how the bread is. They are so good. I just get the matcha powder off of Amazon, but that's a little better alternative than another thing of coffee in the afternoon, a little less caffeine. And it's still so good with that raw organic milk. And then sometimes I'll put a little splash of, or a couple drops of the stevia flavor drop in there, but this is delicious. And the wheat bread turned out wonderfully. It is, it is like eaten that much. I ate a lot of it myself and then the girls had a snack of it already. So delicious and maybe I'll have to make a blog post about it later too because I did tweak the recipe quite a bit. This orange cauliflower. Isn't that cool? Oh, and I need some garlic. You want to come over here and grab a couple? Okay, so we ran to get some farm fresh eggs that I get from some local people, and I showed you the, a little bit of their beautiful garden just a minute. And then we stopped at a right stand and got we got some garlic smells delicious to finish making some pickles some dill and some extra beans so I have enough in a large enough garden for most things I already pulled my dill though because it was getting bugs on it and worms um, and I didn't have enough beans this picking to can four or five quarts is what I usually do at a time or six so I just purchased a few more of those from our Hutterites
Well, I'll start and end my day with you guys in the same spot by my climbing rose bush. So it has been a hot day. We were inside most of the day, just kind of bringing you along. Not a whole lot happened. So I hope it wasn't too just mundane for you, but that's really a life for me right now when it's hot these this week, really. I did a bunch of weeding and gardening yesterday. A friend came over for several hours. We got all our gardens weeded and picked some produce. That way I was able to can those pickled beets you probably saw on my counter. Picked all those cucumbers, pulled all my beets and replanted some for succession planting for the fall. So a lot of gardening happened yesterday, but today was just one of those days where we did not need to be outside because it was just so hot and it had rain yesterday so I didn't have any need to take care of watering so that was a blessing. But I will quickly show you a little bit of my produce gardens here before I um, check out and say goodbye. So let's go see those real quick. Just right over here are my cucumbers and they're gonna be getting pulled shortly because they are browning underneath, the plants are looking peaked. Here's a cucumber. Um, and they just, they probably need to go shortly. So cucumbers there, they really have filled in. It's been really wonderful having so much produce. So there's another one, enough to make quite a few pickles. And then I had dill, but I pulled that because they were bugs as I mentioned before. My carrots are right here. So they are hopefully gonna do well in this location. Right, this little plot here I have some green beans and I'll probably end up pulling those in the next week or so and replanting as well. My peas, you can tell they're on their last leg as well because they are yellowing. And then this is where my beets were and I replanted and my onions are not looking so good. I am not sure what happened. They looked great when I first planted them and now I can't even tell that I really have any there. So yeah, like I don't know what's going on with the onions, but they're not doing so hot. So I might just end up having to buy onions this year. Okay, then back here are all my potatoes. They are doing great. A volunteer tomato plant. So I think it's like a pear tomato. Anyway, I just left it because it was there previously. My sweet potato plants, they are vining up really well. Um, I need to redirect some of them as you can see they're falling to the wayside here. My corn, it didn't officially all stand back up after the storms we've had and hail and all that stuff and it looks really close to being ready. So probably after these this hot streak it will be ready. So this is the first um, planting we had and then this is the second planting three weeks later. Okay, here are my tomato plants. It always becomes a jungle. I prune them and everything, and not sure exactly what happens there, but maybe next year I'll work on that. I believe I have a tomato in there. Fun. And then a couple pepper plants here, some volunteer sunflower plants, and some more peppers. I already picked one off of here. Look at these, they're coming on pretty nicely. So some peppers will be wonderful to have. Well, thanks again for coming along, friends, and I will talk with you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.